What is up, guys? Welcome to our week eight team builder for the UPA. We have here uh, a team made up of Latias, Stoutland, Dublade, Ente, Seismitoad, and Weavile. This is really all you need to know. Uh, I'm not going to go over too in depth what my opponent has because at this point we are two and five in this league. Uh, I don't see myself making playoffs even if I win every game. I would have to get an extremely good differential and everybody else would need to lose. So I'm not going to stress it too much. Um, as you can see, my opponent has a pseudo rain team with Tornadus. Uh, Kingdra down here. Uh, you probably can't see the Kingdra. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, let me go full screen mode. Maybe then you'll see it. Yeah, there it is. And uh, he has a Claydol to set up rain. Swampert also sets up rain. He's got a Ludicolo. Oh, Ludicolo. So it's a, it's a pseudo rain team. He's also packing Ambipalm, Registeel. Uh, Altaria. Uh, basically, you see the stuff right here. So um, I'm not going to do the whole um, the whole team on the side thing for this uh, because this is going to be extremely quick. Um, bringing pretty standard sets this week. Uh, Draco Meteor and Psy Shock to be able to hit my opponent's team extremely hard. I'm actually going to switch out Psy Shock because it doesn't do anything for me. Uh, we're going to go with Hidden Power Fire for the Clef Key. Uh, we got Stoutland here as our physical wall can switch into Swampert pretty well because of Intimidate. Max HP, max attack, so it can fire off hits well as well. Uh, the crunch is there uh, for the Claydol return. Uh, Fire Fang is there for the Clef Key. Superpower is there for the Zoroark that he has. Uh, the Blade is next. This thing can sweep through my opponent's team as soon as the Rotom Wash is gone. So my goal is going to be get, uh, to weaken the Rotom Wash as much as possible. Uh, a lot of my Pokemon actually force it to switch in. So if I can get a burn with Scald on Seismitoad, that could be nice. Uh, we're packing Refresh on here for the Will-O-Wisp so we can just keep getting back Leftovers Recovery. Rotom Wash pretty much can't touch us. Uh, Entei is here. Choice Bandit, Sacred Fire, Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed. Stone Edge is there for the Tornadus if it switches in. Uh, then we have Weavile here with the Life Orb. Very standard set. Low Kick is there for the Registeel to be able to hit for it for super effective. It's also very heavy. Ice Shard is to be able to revenge the uh, Kingdra if we get off enough damage on it. Ice Crash, uh, just for general stab, it's good against the Swamper, good against the um, the Tornadus, and of course, Knock Off is just for getting items off, which is very nice as well. Uh, and finally, uh, well, that's pretty much it. Sludge Wave is here on Seismitoad because I needed something to be able to hit the Ludicolo with should it switch in on me. Normally, you'd be, not be able to touch it with the Seismitoad, but Sludge Wave hits it pretty hard. Uh, we've also got Refresh on there, like we said. Stealth Rocks are going to be nice uh, just to get some residual damage. So, as I said, guys, this is a very short video. Uh, you got to see my opponent's team there for a second. I'll just show you one last time. Klefki, Tornadus, Ambipalm, Registeel, Ludicolo, Altaria, which it, he doesn't seem to have ever brought, uh, Swampert, uh, Rotom Wash, Zoroark, Crobat, Claydol, and Kingdra. So that's it. That's going to be the team builder for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to catch the battle tomorrow. I don't know if we're going to win, honestly. This is a bad matchup for me in general. Every matchup is a bad matchup for me because I drafted an absolutely terrible team in this league. I am so glad it is almost over and that we, we will be able to proceed on with the NBA, uh, which is kind of dying as well at the moment because a lot of people are dropping out for uh, different reasons, which really sucks, but... Um, with the, uh, with the next season of the UPA as well, it would be nice, uh, to draft a little bit of a better team. I definitely misdrafted this time around, and I have a lot of, uh, big draft plans going into the future, so, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Again, if you enjoyed, hit that like button down below, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Ciao.